Who's ready to tiger out? What's up guys, it's I the Apple Boy here today and back with a brand new video for you all and today we're doing a video on hopefully dual booting this iBook G4 here, you can see right there it says an iBook G4 on macOS X 10.4 Tiger. Now I got this DVD about a on Friday I think and it's been in the mail, I've been talking about this and really looking forward to it and we're just going to be uh, looking at this DVD first off, I just want to show you that uh, it only came with this, it didn't come with the, the retail packaging but I didn't care because this disc was like 20 bucks, it was dirt cheap and it does work, I've tested it so uh, it was a cheap disc that I just wanted it to work so I didn't care about the aesthetic of it being in the retail packaging, I just wanted a disc to work so you can see right there there is a little fingerprint there but that's for me uh, being stupid but very good condition disc overall so uh, let's just pop this bad boy in by the way I know you guys are gonna ask um, yes this is the the dead or not the dead but the 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 bye-bye LCD on the iBook G4 um, it looks fine on the camera you guys should be able to see everything although some of the details will look weird on here you might see as the computer gets used Hopefully this LCD doesn't go kaput on me during the video, but I am using it for the record. I also changed some settings on it, uh, I'll show you here, that made it a little bit more seeable on the human eye. Um, to those of you that are new to the channel and haven't seen uh, the video previous to this, basically the LCD on this thing is dying and um, the, the details are really hard to see and I had to change some of the colors so that way um, you can actually see stuff. So let me find this, oh displays, duh. Loading displays and you can see here I have it on a different color setting because it makes the colors a little bit better um, it's the sRGB IEC 1966-2.1 uh, setting here anyway though uh, if you're wondering also this uh, iBook here is running the latest version it supports which is Mac OS X 10.5.8 Leopard yes I just said Leopard um, right there 10.5.8 I know that's a bit difficult to see and that's due to the screen you and there's supposed to be an Apple logo there you can barely see it but I'm not lying when the screen is like dying you can't even really see the Apple logo there it's sad but you can see also see the specs so um, yeah now we can pop the disc in we got that super nice DVD drive that combo disc drive whatever you want to call it going in and we'll let it do its thing I know some people say, oh, you should just do like boot it or shut it down, then boot it with uh, the C key. But uh, from here, you can actually do everything. So um, we'll just wait for this thing to go. Give it a sec. And like right here, you can just double click. By the way, I am going to attempt to dual boot this thing. As you can see, I do have two partitions there. Uh, if it doesn't let me install this on th this partition for whatever reason, whether it be uh, this partition is too small or just you can't dual boot this or whatever it is, then I will just do a c clean install of 10.4 because this thing is going to have either the best of both worlds or just completely 10.4 tigered out. So we're just going to double click this and then restart and then um, we're just going to click enter. I don't have a password on this bad boy. And uh, let me go get my charger just in case, so be right back. This is furthermore proof that the screen is dying. You can see there, this would be a completely black logo, but you know it's pretty much faded. But anyway, got the charger here. I don't think the battery will be dying. It was at like 84 before I restarted this thing. But, uh, you know, the batteries in these computers aren't the best. And just to be safe, we're just going to plug this in over here. Or I can't find the port. Oh, wrong side. I'm dumb. Okay, I'm dumb. So there we go. Just in case, you know, it's always good to have power in this thing and stuff. So we're just going to wait for this to boot up. Hear that loud DVD drive? Jesus. Alright, cool. What is it doing? What is this? Oh, batteries? What do you want me to do? Turn on a mouse? Oh, it wants me to plug in a mouse. That is actually weird. I guess I have to use my um, Logitech mouse for this installation. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, we got right here. Preparing installation. Welcome to the Mac OS X installer. To install Mac OS X, click continue, then follow the on-screen instructions. To quit, choose quit installer from the installer menu. And yada, 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 yada. Um, no, I want to continue. Continue agree and let's see yes the tiger 
the Tigger. We're going to call this Tiger. Um, yep, we got that chosen. Install. This is going just perfect. I was really hoping it would be this easy. Um, let's see. Checking your install installation DVD. If this takes a while, then I'll just time lapse it for you guys since I don't want you guys to sit here bored all the time. Yeah, it looks like it'll take a while. Um, I'm just going to time lapse this for y'all. Let me just get this position and stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, so this, this looks like it'll be a quite fine and dandy um, time lapse. So, time lapse starting now. Alright boys, so uh, that took forever to do, and I don't know why the languages did what it did, but whatever, it took forever, and let's just restart this. Um, I hope this is done, I mean, everything, installing Mac OS X is so easy, I swear, but we're just gonna wait for this bad boy to boot up. I guess I'll get back to you guys. I'll get back to you guys when this thing's done booting. This might be a bit. And it looks like it is ready to do its thing again. Uh, just restarted and everything as you just saw. So now we're just waiting for this little bar to do its thing. Uh, it looks like it's going by somewhat fast and somewhat slow. So again, I'm just going to wait till it's almost done uh, loading there. And then I'll just get back to you guys. Okay, so it, like as soon as I ended that clip, it just it went to the halfway mark and then just went to this screen so I guess I'll just stick around with you guys but um yeah we see the little beach ball there is the mouse pad working no it's not I still gotta use this little mouse here where's my mouse there it is so yeah we beach ball on it right now beach ball on the boys it's weird how you can't use the trackpad on this thing though you have to use a, a USB mouse so I didn't know that but whatever I, I have a USB mouse on hand so we all good um ooh I don't know if you guys can hear that. We get that wonderful music there. I took out the mic so that way you guys can hear that. Uh, let's see. I love this. To begin, select the country or region you're in. Then click continue. Um, I... Oh, wait. It says right there. Okay. I can't read, apparently. Continue. And then do not transfer my information. Oh, wait. Transfer my information from another partition on this Mac. Let's do that. All right, now we're reading from the um, the HDD, it looks like. No versions of Mac OS X were found. You can only transfer... Okay, well, whatever, I guess. Do not transfer any of my information. US. Sorry about my sniffly nose, by the way. My allergies are getting the best of me. Uh, three... Yep, okay. So, we'll just... Does this thing... Can you, okay, good. We'll just type this in. J... I hope I didn't do any typos on this. I don't think I did. There was an error joining the selected network. Uh-ohs. Okay, I think I just had a typo in there. Let's see this time. There was an error joining the... I really hope my Wi-Fi card didn't go out. That would really, really suck. Let me let me try the, um, the, Ethernet, the Ethernet port. So I guess for now, what we're just going to do is just use the local Ethernet since that's my only option. I got to find my mouse. Um, continue. And then, uh, we're just gonna do that crap. Uh, I don't really want to enter that. Can I just click continue? Oh, my mouse. My mouse is, like, right here, so it's, like, really hard to use this without it bumping all over the place. Okay, uh, let me go enter my information. This won't be fake information. I just can't hold a, a phone and a keyboard at the same time hope you guys really like my info there it's very nice I mean this is all like really special info to me uh, very very special to my life but looks like we good oh oops oh that's right whoopsie daisies I'm dumb I'm dumb okay come on continue oh now you're gonna start pitching to me oh you want my phone number huh okay well 
I let's see um we'll just do my state code just so that way it doesn't bitch and then one two three er, no nope. one two three four five six seven um and then let's just do that that should be right right or something like that I don't know oh I, I gotta have this mouse here this is very annoying the phone number must be 10 digits oh I'm sorry I didn't count because guess what I can't count nine this is dumb give me a second guys I, I'm sorry that was probably a lot longer than I think it, that needed to be but continue yay now we did it and a few more questions where will you primarily use this computer can I choose up my butt because that's where I'm gonna use it uh, let's just do home what describes you oh I'm, I'm video film so definitely stay in touch nah fam I'm sorry you guys can't even see that stay in touch nah fam um, continue and short name I don't want any of that crap okay I don't want that short name um, I don't want that to be it so give me a second just because I couldn't think of any other name let's just do iBook G4 so continue again you haven't entered a password for your user account are you sure you want to do this yes I'm pretty sure no one wants to steal this computer pretty sure especially when it has a bad LCD so let's just wait connecting to Apple I really hope my Wi-Fi card didn't go out I'll let you know when I'm on the desktop here but like it wouldn't connect so that was really weird um, can I choose I want to choose are you being slow right now Wow such so, so, oh my gosh thanks for the choices Cupertino that's three hours behind me I think um, I don't know the time I'm pretty sure it's 529 I'm pretty sure it is so don't forget to register okay thank you bye bye and now we should be getting on the desktop here oh there goes the DVD drive is it just gonna boot now or what's it gonna do I hope it just takes me to the desktop yay so we are officially on the desktop now I can't find my mouse though so let's just unplug that what is this mouse doing? Is my trackpad, like, why is my trackpad not wanting to do anything right now? Like, look, it's not doing anything. I'm moving it all around. Do I have to set up my mouse pad or something? Like, I have a USB mouse here. Let's see. Oh, there goes the mouse. I got the USB mouse here, and it works fine. So, um, first off, let's just go ahead and um, you can see right there we got that that beautiful beautiful oh, I have to readjust the saying see this is what I mean by how the screen is bad you can see all like the illness down here I got change the settings again but we can at least just eject this for now so we gotta eject that bad boy right there OS 10.0 I will mess around again and try to get the trackpad working, but I'll just show you here that this is 10.4. I got to do a bunch of updates and that kind of stuff. Oh, of course, you can't even see it there. Okay, let's just take care of one thing first off, and that is to go into system preferences. Jesus, this is annoying. I guess I didn't realize it, but the system preferences app is different on here, so cool. Um, yeah, you can see here how bad this LCD is again. Uh, we gotta change one of the settings on here. I hope 10.4 has one of these things. Right now it's running really slow though, obviously. Oh good, they do have it. Let's see. Um, can we do that? Calibrate? Do I have to calibrate you? Do I have to calibrate you? I just want this thing to do its thing. Come on. Open profile. No. It was so much easier in 10.5. Like, why aren't you doing this? Let me see. Oh no, that is not what I wanted to do. Calibrate. Oh yeah, I guess we do have to calibrate it. So let's just go through here. And then... That's better, I think. I think that's better. No, it's not. I don't know. Alright, I see the problem with this now. Okay, you see how I, I got the error again. But you want to know why. I found out why, and I guess this is just because it's too old of a, uh, an operating system, and 10.5 has support for WP2 networks. But 
you can see here uh, it either supports wet passwords, wet 40s, wet 40 again, and leap. I don't even know what leap is. I've never even heard of these three. Now, my old router that I have kicking around uses this, but guess what? Uh, our router over here, if you can't tell, uh, this thing uses a, a WP2 uh, password, something like that. Let me see again. Excuse me, it uses a WPA2 password. So uh, this operating system isn't even compatible with our Wi-Fi, so that explains a lot. So I guess when I'm running 10.4 on this computer, we're going to have to be tethered to the Ethernet here. You know what else I'm also thinking? I don't think that this disk here was for the iBook. Because, you see, if, like, I know 10.4 Tiger was made for the iBook, but, like, I mean, there's no trackpad option here. I think I have, like, the desktop disk for, like, the desktop computers. Comment that down below if you know what that's all about, because, obviously, I don't have a trackpad option like I do on 10.5. I think there's a lot of things that this operating system is missing, actually. You can see here, though, I don't have any of those options looks like I'm gonna have to be tethered to a lot of things actually because it doesn't look like I get the trackpad option on this computer with 10.4 this is this is interesting well guys hope you enjoyed watching this video of me installing 10.4 tiger on my iBook G4 looks like there's some things I need to work on it might just be because I need to update this computer since it's running 10.4 stock right now I will be updating it everything on my own time so don't worry about that and I will be setting it up and personalizing it and everything but it's cool that I did get 10.4 tiger on here a lot of you guys said that I need to get 10.4 tiger on this iBook because it runs way faster and so far I haven't noticed much of a difference but I guess as I use this thing I'll, I'll know and I'll let you guys know so uh, yep I got 10.4 Tiger on here and 10.5 Le Leopard yes I just called it Leopard I know it's Leopard but I'm calling it Leopard so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed go ahead and follow my Instagram and Twitter if you'd like it is at the Apple Buyer it will be in the left corner of the video again thank you for watching and peace